For this drum beat, we're going to be doing um, the difference between a shuffle and um, kind of adding that extra flair to your uh, your main beat. Okay, it's going to go like this. Okay, so that was a little bit of a shuffle. Now I'm going to play it straight forward. Okay. There were still accents in that, but the shuffle kind of disappeared. And it's all a shuffle is is kind of just breaking up that beat and slicing it. You just say okay. So um, we're gonna move on to the extreme case of what this is, and um, I'm gonna involve just these two hands, but it's actually gonna be um, when you get on your kit. After you do some of these exercises and get proficient at these, um, you're going to notice what, what I'm doing here. I'm going to be going. So I'm going to be doing something like that with my foot, and then I might be keeping time like. with the, this left foot on the hi-hats and then on the bass drum I'm going to be all right so um let's do that uh that shuffle kind of like the gist of it um, and you can change that up if you want to it's uh, it's all based on your unique approach to drums which is um, that's the that's the route I took I didn't accept the norm so um, with all of these lessons right here on this practice pad what I want you to do is kind of bring it alive in your own terms you're not going to be wanting to um, to duplicate this drum beat exactly because I mean we can do that we can listen to a song and we can let it play through, um, get it on our headphones, and um, just nail everything. That's a great way to learn um, a specific nuance or drum beat. Or you hear that one sound and it's like a, it's like a cut time, or it's just like, and it's just like this crazy, complicated um, drum fill. Um, but a lot of that comes with um, a lot of practice on this. And uh, that's where those guys from uh, Lamb of God and Tool and um, the Dave, Math Dave Matthews Band drummer, um, the drummer Chad Smith from Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, let's see, even the, the session drummers they all do this practice pad and this is a way for you to get so proficient that you'll get on that drum set and you'll just have it like you'll just everything will be sliced up in your mind and you'll be able to isolate each of your limbs left arm right arm left leg right leg and so they can be uh, isolated from the rest of your other limbs in your body and your mind can kind of just be working and whatever time signatures that you're doing um, with your feet as opposed to your hands or with the right side of your body as opposed to the left. And um, this will get more seamless as, um, as, you, as you practice a lot of these rudiments and everything. And you can look up the f uh, 24 basic rudiments. Um, and there's actually a channel that I favorited um, it goes over the single stroke roll, the double stroke roll, um, and, and so on and so forth. 
and um, it's a great a great tool and asset um, for your life too because uh, you know not too many people know drummers guitarists grow on trees that's true good guitarists grow on uh, do not grow on trees um, the people that master their instrument and um, they take it to a new level like all those drummers I just mentioned they've really learned the basics you know they've they've done stuff like this um, they've learned their time signatures um, so that's four four on my right hand and three four on my left hand Um, so keep it new and uh, uh, keep it up because it, this is the stuff that um, that's going to get you to that level of mastery. All right. And the next get the uh, the next lesson is going to be good. We're going to do um, we're going to do Swiss Army triplets, and that's going to be pretty sweet. I'll show you how those are done.